Hello friends. Welcome to Tech Talks Engineered. Today we will see the difference between high voltage direct current system called as HVDC and high voltage alternating current system called as HVAC. In one of the previous videos, we have already discussed one distinguishing factor which is loss. In HVAC system loss can be minimized by stepping up transmission voltage, however same is not possible in case of HVDC system. For details please click on the link given. Now let's see point wise comparison of HVDC and HVAC transmission. 1. Capital cost. Installation cost of HVDC transmission system is more than that of HVAC transmission system. Because as we know, naturally only AC power voltage can be stepped or stepped down using power transformers. Hence for HVDC transmission, we have normal HVAC power transformers at both the ends. Then there is converter station at sending end of line, which converts stepped up AC power into DC power. This DC power is transmitted over the distance by DC transmission lines. At the receiving end, there is inverter station which converts DC power into AC power, which again can be stepped up or stepped down as per the requirement using power transformers. These converter and inverter stations increase the capital cost of HVDC power system as compared to the capital cost of HVAC power system. Considering the capital cost, and for better understanding of economics of both the systems, let's see the graph. As we can see in the graph, HVAC transmission cost and HVDC transmission cost is plotted against distance of transmission lines in kilometers. As shown in the graph, up to the break-even point that is around 600 kilometers, cost of HVDC transmission is higher than that of HVAC transmission. Whereas after 600 kilometers, cost of HVAC transmission is higher than that of HVDC transmission. Hence for transmission beyond 600 kilometers, HVDC transmission system is economical as compared to HVAC transmission system. Two losses. Losses in HVDC transmission are significantly lower than losses in HVAC transmission. Skin effect is completely absent in HVDC transmission. Also corona losses are lower in HVDC. 3. Short circuit current. Short circuit current in HVAC transmission is high, whereas HVDC transmission does not contribute to interconnected AC transmission in case of fault. Hence use of HVDC transmission limits fault current. 4. Interference with nearby communication lines. HVAC transmission has frequency which in turn causes more interference with nearby communication lines, whereas HVDC transmission interference with nearby communication lines is comparatively less. 5. Controllability. Since HVDC transmission does not have any inductance, it is easy to control as compared to HVAC transmission. 6. Asynchronous interconnection. In HVAC transmission system, transmission of 50 Hz frequency cannot be interconnected with transmission of 60 Hz frequency. Hence asynchronous interconnection is not possible in HVAC transmission system. Whereas since HVDC transmission does not have frequency, it is easy to interconnect two different DC transmission circuits. From these points we can say that, HVDC transmission system has many advantages as compared to that of HVAC transmission system. Hence HVDC transmission system works complementary to HVAC transmission system. So guys these are some comparison points between HVDC and HVAC transmission systems. Hope you liked the video. If yes, please hit the like button, and please comment. For more videos, please subscribe. Thank you.